Hello, it's me again. Sorry. Um, what we're doing now is I've got uh, my Jetson Nano hooked up to the top of my car. It's running four IP cams and it's running the uh, the, the Nano. The, this, this is the text file that it's running. So it, it's running 24 frames a second. As you can see, you know, it's it's picking up all the cars and uh, the the camera is the break up occasionally because I think what it is is I only paid $26 for these cameras. So, yeah, they're not the greatest, but they're actually pretty good. You know, it's picking everything up and the, and the see uh, uh, you'll see a person here. So it, it's picking them up. So, but this is my rig. As you can see, there's the Nano. And there's my four IP cameras. There's one on the other side. And this is, uh, there's the monitor that I have inside the car. And there's the IP cameras. Here's the other ones. There's, there's another look at the IP cameras. And then, like, here's my rig. So, what it is, is we've got the Nano. This is just a spacer. I got two uh, webcams. They're not running right now. And then right here is we have a power over Ethernet gig gigabyte uh, uh, managed hub. So you really need something like that if you want to run these uh, IP cams because they're they're they need a lot of power and they push out. They need a lot of power. So there's that and uh, as you can see, it's running, picking up people. It does the, the 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 screen breaks up occasionally, but the, it's running 24 frames a second, so that's not bad. And you see, it's picking up like all kinds of things, picking everything up. And then what it is is we're running this out of the deep stream uh, um, source. We're running. Uh, let's see, we got five. You know, we got six um, sources. Uh, what I've only got the Nable now are the uh, IP cameras. They're running the RTSP. And here's the IP cameras. There's one. There's two. There's three. And then there's four. So. And then these are my two webcams right here. Um, what it is, is we've got, uh, I've got them disabled because I just wanted to do the, uh, uh, IP cams. And then, uh, what it is, I have the display disabled on the monitor because what I'm doing is I enable this and I'm, this is a recording of the Nano driving around real time, uh, and it's put it out to this, uh, this file here. And then what this is, if I want to, uh, transmit the, uh, the image uh, over Ethernet, just you turn this on. And then uh, what I've done is I've uh, enabled a live source, set my batch type to six because I have six cameras, and then the batch size to six right here. And everything else I pretty much left alone. Uh, let's see. Uh, it's doing a pretty good job. Um, like I said, it's running 24 frames a second. That's pretty good. Um, I noticed that these cameras, they don't like that they, I assume that they want to be still and have images move in front of them. They probably do a better job doing that. Um, but, uh, it's picking them up like, uh, like this is forward, this is left, this is rear, and this is right. Let's see, um. So once we, this is Walmart, we're getting into Walmart here. So, so you see, it sees all the cars. Even this sees all the cars, even though they're they're not facing it right here. Look at that; it can see all those cars. It even picks up those people right there. You know, if I, and uh, and what what I'm going to end end up doing with this is I'm going to uh, see if it picks up that person that behind him. There's a person. There's a person. Uh, my end goal for this is what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, train this model 
to recognize forklifts and people and I'm going to put this in a, an industrial environment and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the, the streaming on for the Jetson and what I'm going to do is I'm going to stream the image out so as uh, the forklifts drive around they 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 can see people because most forklift drivers um, they're too busy looking at their loads to really monitor everything so basically what this is going to do is this is going to look around them for them. This will notify them if somebody's near or there are another forklift in the way. That's, that's kind of where I'm yeah, heading with this. So this is kind of going to be my final uh, rig right here. Uh, you know, I'm going, to have, I'm going to have this with four uh, IP cameras. I wish I could use four webcams because they're the best. But the Nano won't, won't only run two. Um, let's see. What, oh, let's oh, stop that. Let's go back here. Anyway, here you see an airplane come down. See the airplane come down? And then back here, this is kind of neat. Watch. We're going to go past the freeway and it's going to pick out on the cars on the freeway. See? There's the... There. Nope, let's go back a little farther. Now watch, we're going to go past the freeway. This is forward, this is left. And the I-5 is down there, so. See, it's picking up the cars on the freeway. They're going 60 miles an hour, so. It's not bad. But you can see that the, the, sometimes the image breaks up. It's just like, it's just, I think, crappy cameras. Like I say, there's this. When it's still, it works really good. See? And there's a plane. So. So like I say, it's, they're, they're all running 24 frames a second. You know, so it's, it's keeping up. I guess that's about it. I guess that's about it. So, by the way, I got a looks drive. I got a lot of looks driving around this strap to the top of my car. So, this is uh, I call this the redneck uh, Google Street Mapper. So, all right, bye.